So what we're seeing in the market is that the amount of audits from Oracle Society continues to stay at the same level in terms of amount of audits. And what we see is that a lot of those audits are initiated in order to find a, com a compliance issue at a customer, which is typically the case, because in 95, 98% of the customers that are being audited, the compliance issues are identified. And what you see is that that is being used commercially in order to move the customer to the cloud. So typically you see that customers are found to be under uh, license during an audit. They get two options, having a huge financial bill if they would buy the licenses on-premise or having a cheaper bill in order to resolve it if they would buy cloud. So a lot of customers end up buying cloud as a resolution, a commercial resolution uh, at the end of an audit. So what we see in the market as the most common compliance issues if we're talking about Oracle, then the majority of the customers are being caught because of VMware. Uh, so Oracle's licensing policies around VMware are heavily debated in the market, uh, but it actually comes down to the fact that Oracle's position is, is that depending on what VMware version you're using, in essence you need to license every physical core of every physical machine that is part of the VMware environment. Now a lot of customers either do not feel that it is fair or didn't know that that was Oracle's position and are then found to be non-compliant, typically resulting in huge compliance issues of tens of millions of dollars which are then being leveraged for the commercial segment. Um, other trends that we see lately as well is that customers are being called non-compliant because of the fact that they are using Java components. So a lot of people think that once Oracle uh, acquired Sun, that Java remained to be free, which is partially true, because Oracle started to develop, uh, apart from the free version of Java, also a commercial uh, um, product from Java. And a lot of customers are not aware of the fact that if they're using any of those commercial features for commercial or production purposes, that they may need to license that separately. Now, together with the fact that there is a separate sales force in Oracle now focusing only on selling Java, we see that as another trend happening quite a lot. Um, together with the fact that Java is typically bundled with a lot of products like WebLogic, application products from Oracle, and therefore it is very very often the case that it's very unclear for customers what is now the free Java version, what is the commercial version, is it part of my license or not? So that's another trend that we see quite ha that we see happening quite a lot. Richard will be speaking at both our US and UK conferences this autumn. To find out more, go to itassetmanagement.net forward slash events. We hope to see you there.